So let's take a look at how our five missiles work. Our five missiles are heat-seeking anti-ship missiles and they're used in real-time combat. In the first chapter of this guide I'm going to talk about how to equip and repair them. Let's say you're at the start of the campaign and I have a Sebastopol and a Scarab. And I would like to put extra missiles on the Scarab. Oh, well, and the main base, you don't have those missiles. So if you want to buy those missiles, you have to go to places that have rare modules, which are usually... It's a repair place. That's a, no, it's the one with that um, currency symbol. Merchants rare modules. In this place, you can buy um, tactical missiles, R5 missiles, and all, all of these um, items. So... <clears throat> So, however, I can improvise, because my Sebastopol here has a lot of those missiles. Let's say I want to put them over here. So, for example, I take one missile, left-click it, and then just right-click. Then it goes back into your ship hold in your inventory. Now I can use that on this carrot. Now there's a few things to consider when you re-equip a ship, and it's different from the main blueprint. Okay, let's say, for example, I want to add an extra missile rack and put it on the side over here. So buy some hull pieces. And it needs two spaces like this. You can rotate it any time you want, any way you want, rather. So put it up here. Then I take this missile. I can put it up here. I can also rotate it uh, downwards if you like to. Then you put it on. Now you have to save that configuration. Now, the important thing here um, is to have to click Exit. Now it asks you for renaming that ship. I'm going to call it Scarab M because I added the missile. I press OK. Now what this does, it saves this ship in this current configuration. So if you end up in combat and you need to repair your ship, it will ask you um, to which to which blueprint you want to repair it. And then you can select the Scarab M variant. So for example, if you find yourself in a city and with missiles you want to repair like this, then you click on repair. So you can here you can select to which blueprint. In the next chapter, I would like to talk about positioning the missiles on the ship. Now, there's two ways of doing it, depending how you want to use them in combat. So on this um, Scarab M ship, the default missile slots are one on each side and the one extra one I put over here. <clears throat> now, there are disadvantages and advantages to putting them on the outside of the hall. Now, the advantage is, if you get hit by enemy fire, the missile detonates and it can't damage interior components that much. The disadvantage is, it might get shot off in combat really early, and then you lose an, an expensive missile. They cost like, I think they cost 600 a piece. So if you carry any money outside of the ship, you will eventually be forced to use them early in combat, because it will rarely happen that you can carry them on the outside and not get hit at all. Now the flip side, if you put them on the inside of the ship, like on the Sevastopol over here, you can see they're put inside the ship, and they're relatively protected, except if the incoming fire is from the top. Now, the advantage is it's protected, and you can decide to use them late in combat or not use them at all in a particular fight. The disadvantage is you have to account for that when building a ship and put extra armor on it. So, for example, if those missiles wouldn't have to be protected over here, then it could have reduced some of the armor racks. That's the trade off you have to make. And it's similar to uh, tactical missiles. As you can see here, they're in the silo in here. They're better protected, but you need a lot, a lot of material around them to protect them. In this chapter, I would like to talk about the basic use of those missiles. So the way you use them, you just fly around. And you just point your, rotate your mouse to point at a particular target. And if you like the target, you see it's, it's, um, it's boxed in, then you press space once to fire at one time. Which brings you to the next point. Um, there are different ways to use them if you're fighting small ships or large ships. In this, in this scenario, I'm fighting, obviously, really small ships. Now, the best way to use them, as I mentioned earlier in the equipment phase um, part, if you use them early, you lose the risk of them getting shot off before they can actually do damage to the enemy. So there's two ways to do it. You just select the target, select and disperse them multiple targets and fire once and hope they get through, or you can concentrate them on, small, on one target. What I'd like to do for small ships, I just um, scatter them along the targets. So look at one, press space, another one, space, another one, space, another one, space. You've got to be careful when you shoot them. The missiles take a moment to clear from the ship. They, they basically pop off. Then they start their 
I think the rocket motors to turn, and then the main engine goes on. So you should avoid uh, maneuvers that get in the way of the missile, so you don't get hit by your missile. Look at the example here. Okay, two targets down, and now basically won the fight, more or less. Let's take a look at how it works against larger ships. Which is a bit more difficult because um, they have much better capabilities of defending themselves against you. So I'm switching to large. Can I get one Archangel? As you can see, I think they have some anti-missile capa anti capabilities. So let's see if we can use them. Okay, now you can see the status of the enemy ship. It says ASM, those are anti-ship missiles. Two, and I got four. And AAM, it has none. So it has no defenses against... Uh, your missiles accept gunfire. So there's two ways you can do this. You can um, fly directly, fire as many as you as, as possibly can. So I'm going to try that first. See, so I spammed all of them. Okay, now what's the advantage of that thing going on? You have a large volume of fire coming in. So if this goes well, I'm not sure if it will. The first one or the second one will burrow them somewhere in here, start eating through the armor, and the other one are going to Borrow themselves deeper in the ship and possibly destroy it. So let's see what happens. Now, this ship has really good armor, so it didn't do much. Also, some of the um, defense fire actually took out one or two of them. Let's try this again. <clears throat> but this is this classified as a large ship, but it's more like a medium ship in terms of capabilities. I'm going to try something different. First, I'm going to dodge this one. Okay, now what I'd like to do is I fire one, I wait two seconds, fire a second one, wait two seconds, fire another one, two seconds, and fire another one, two seconds. Notice I'm maneuvering as I'm doing it. You see, I'm maneuvering like this. And what this does, it, it gives the missiles different angles towards the target. Basically, are you basically outflanking the enemy anti-aircraft fire? Because if they all come from the same direction, they, get easy, they can easily be shot down. But if, if you scatter them like this, you have a better chance of getting to the ship. Let's see the ex uh, example of this. Also moderate damage, but this is a really hard target to kill. I think the command should be better equipped. Yeah, he has anti-ship missiles, uh, anti-aircraft missiles, right? Okay, now you see, that's the Archangel. And that's the Comoran. Notice here it has AAM, four of them. Now watch what I'm doing if I fire a missile volley. What happens? Notice his anti-ship missiles, um, anti-missile, well, anti-missile missiles. They fly much faster than the anti-ship missiles, and the enemy AI is really good at reacting fast enough. So the moment they detect your fire, they're shooting them. Let's see if something gets through. Second one. See, not the single one made it through. I'm going to retry it and try to scatter my shots a bit more to see if I can trick the enemy aircraft fire. Where's that comma? One, two, three, four. You see, one came through, and it was a good hit, ammo explosion. Now, what I did here is most of the anti-ship, anti-aircraft missiles, they're coming off the top. So if you're shooting from below, it takes them longer time to actually clear from the ship, turn, and fly towards you. you can, that's something you can buy all missile time to get to the target. But always pay attention to where the enemy has its, um, has its missiles. I'm going to try this again one more time, so you see it wasn't just a lucky hit. Flying really close. And it was a bit too close, I think. <laughs> no missile didn't have enough power to eat. Well, we noticed his enemy aircraft, um, anti, anti, anti missile missiles, didn't even have time to fire before I was close to them. So, I'm going to try again to get a larger ship to fight me. No, I don't want an Archangel, I want something bigger. Let's try a negative cruiser. <clears throat> I 
But again, this worked because the outman got his um, enemy ship missile. So in this chapter, I would like to talk about how to defense against missiles. But the most basic way, which I will mention, is just just shoot at them with small caliber weapons. The more bullets in the air, the more probability you have of hitting them. That's the cheapest way to get one. But sometimes you don't have the chance for that because there's too much fire going on. As I discussed earlier, if you want to use anti-aircraft missiles, they are very effective against them too. You just have to press C once to fire one, and there's a really high chance it's going to get the missile if it's launched soon enough, because I think they're two or three times faster than regular missiles. And then there's the most, um, I think, the most difficult way is just to dodge them. But it's the cheapest one. If, if you don't get hit, it doesn't cost you anything. I'm going to provoke a fight with some missile ships. <clears throat> Wait for some missiles to come in. Can we get this missile coming in? Now, what you want to do is you want to overwhelm the missile's capabilities of turning in the right moment. So, for example, if I try to dodge it right now, go up or down, it has no, it has no difficulty tracking me because of, because of the angular velocity. It's really easy for them to track me if I'm moving up and just adjust the course. But if I'm really close and make a sudden change in direction with a lot of G-forces, it might overwhelm the missile. So I'm going to show you that box. Waiting, 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 and go up. Now for this one, I'm going to try the same thing, but go downwards. And go down. And go up again. And that's how you dodge him. And now the rocket motor is out of fuel and just falls, just falls down. And the last chapter is how to use flares against missiles. Now, okay, let's wait for a missile to come in. Okay, we got two missiles coming. On this ship, I have one flare dispenser, and it is somewhere in this area. I didn't put it in symmetrical fashion around the ship, because if you put them symmetrically around all the ship, and I put flares, then you have a flare pattern going up here, going up here, going up here, and going up here. And if the missile is coming straight at you, it will get confused by two missiles and will just keep flying straight right into you as a target. So I like to keep them asymmetrical. Also, you want to use the flares not too early, but not too soon, uh, not, too, not too slow, or not too late, rather. If you, use, if you use them right now, the missile might completely pass it. If I use it too late, the missile might not have time to actually get attracted to it before it hits you. So the point is to lay out the bait in just the right time, so it, it uh, has time to find it. So like this, lay out, and see, see they both got um, distracted by the trajectory. It just takes one flare to, I think you get four or five seconds worth of uh, attracting missiles with it. And you can also use the flare system by just holding it or pressing it multiple times. Well, well most times it's, it's, you just need to press one or twice um, in the right moment to get them. So I think this uh, was all for this tutorial, and as always, thanks for watching.